you were on one of our internal auditors course, courses, I should say, one of the subjects that we teach you, or talk about at least, is the subject of non-verbal communication, body language. And when I run my particular course, one of the tricks I like to show the students to sort of back that up, just to prove that it actually works, is what I'm about to show you now. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uses a deck of cards, as always. Now then, if I were to take the cards out of the box and ask somebody to pick a card, you'd say, oh, maybe you could make them pick that card, or maybe the cards are marked in some way. In fact, Toby, would you like to come up and give me a hand? Give me a round of applause. <laughs> There we go. Could you stand that side, yeah. please? Yeah. Now, you know the subject of body language. Um, as humans, the way we've evolved over millions of years, we've got this natural urge to want to communicate. It's just something that, you know, has evolved on with us through over time. And as soon as you block one of those channels of communication, i.e. don't speak, that communication is just bursting to get out in other ways. And it's very difficult to hide. And of course, if you're a pet owner, anybody got a dog? We know that these are the absolute experts at body language, aren't they? They can tell half an hour before you're gonna feed them or be, you're gonna take them for a walk. You know, they just seem to be, have this psychic ability. You know, my dog's very clever. I've taught my dog how to play poker. The only trouble is, every time it gets a good hand, his tail starts to wag and gives the game away, so that's no good, is it? Now, you know, like I say, if I were to get you to pick a card, you could accuse me of using marked cards. They're not marked, but don't take my word for it. So I pondered this situation, and I thought to myself, um, there's a way, if I, if I was to ask Toby to just cut the deck and have a look at a card, not only could I can't see what he's looking at, but I can't see the back of the card, does that make sense? So it really wouldn't even matter if the cards were marked, it just wouldn't matter. Everyone agree again? So, Toby, I want you to do that. I want you to cut the deck wherever you like. Okay. That's it. Just, just hold it up. There. I don't know if, if, if anybody else seen it, but remember that card and just drop it there. Okay. So, you've got the card in mind now, yes? Yeah. Obviously, that's a red or a black card. Hold out your hands for me, please. Think of this as being your red hand and this being your black hand. Okay. And try not to give the game away. You've heard the, you've heard the, the phrase poker face. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but straight away, did, did you see his, his, his head sort of tilt to the side there? And it was, watch the nose, because it's always a giveaway. You know, it went slightly to this side and right on side. Yeah, try not to make it so easy for me this time. Okay. So we've established it's a red card, okay? So again, hold out your hands for me. And think of this as being hearts, this as being diamonds. You're very stiff here. Look at the shape of your hand, they just loosen up. Now, I said not to give it away so easily, so that we're taking it to hearts. Yes or no, you're thinking of a heart. You're all picking up on this, aren't you? Just like I am, yes? So hold up your hands this way now. Let's just go through. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Put this down. Ten, jack, queen, king, ace. Could you just say that for me? Ten, jack, queen, king, ace. Ten, jack. King, Queen, Ace. Ah, oh, no, you went slightly out. Did you oh, see that? Yeah. You went slightly out. On the Queen, it was the Queen. The Queen of Hearts. Yeah, yeah give him a round of applause. 